And today I'm going to be talking about something totally different than you would normally be seeing as a review or an instructional video. Today we're going to be talking about these Facebook scams. Some of you may have seen the video that Trogley's channel put out, put a link down below. Thank you. First, I want to thank all of the viewers who were kind enough to send me emails saying, Hey, Phil, there's a, uh, there's a company out there using your videos on Facebook. I want to give you an update on the measures I've taken and what I've done. I reached out to the company that was posting this and got no response. I'm not shocked because it obviously looked like a scam. If you're not familiar with the scam, what they do is they create a bogus account. Then they run ads on Facebook using either celebrities or YouTubers that you're familiar with or trust, then they have you link to a website where they promise you amazing guitars at unrealistically silly prices to either collect your information to clone your accounts and steal from you or just sell your information to people that want to buy it. Or in some cases, which I don't believe this case, they're selling you fake guitars, but this was a, a little silly because I think these prices, there's not likely that they're even going to ship you fake guitars. They might just send you some generic uh, no-name brand, no headstock uh, logo guitar that doesn't even look like what the pictures show. Now, some of you guys know this channel and you know that I take a hard line when it comes to fake fraudulent products or taking advantage of consumers. I reached out to Facebook let them know the issue and got no response. Like Trogli had mentioned on his channel, it could be because of COVID-19 and lighter staff. However, my logic was every minute that those ads were out there, there's potentially people putting in their information, getting duped, getting their accounts fraudulently taken or being scammed. So I contacted an attorney and they shut that down. They shut down the link, uh, the links you guys saw to the videos that were of mine. They obviously do what attorneys do. They got Facebook to get rid of it. I want to say they did it within an hour. Facebook had sent me an email saying it is down <laughs> and it's gone. They've also deleted all of the uh, trails on this. So I took it very seriously. Again, I'm telling you guys this not only to tell you that the scams are down, so please stop <laughs> sending me anything about the current scam. Uh, it's shut down. But if you see other ones, uh, let me know. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for doing that. And uh, uh, like I said, be aware of these scams. It's really disappointing to see that companies like Facebook, which is also Instagram, uh, will sell advertising. In this scam's case, the company that put up this uh, fake ad, this, this BS scam, their account was created three days before the ads started publishing. Um, now it's possible they started publishing the ads the first day of their account. It's just shocking to me that Facebook would allow someone to create a profile and then purchase advertising within 48 hours to 72 hours of creating that profile. It's like they don't even verify who they are yet. And the profile that they created was not only fake, obviously, but the name was totally made up. It was just a bunch of jumbled letters, which they wouldn't allow one of us to do. So if you guys uh, need another reason to, to, to be focused on this issue, please be aware. Um, what I want to tell you is I understand that if you go to a, like a local swap meet, your, your senses might be heightened to worry like, hey, is this person on the up and up with a card table trying to sell me this, uh, this product? Where if you went to your local mall where you're thinking they pay rent, they have a business license, they've been ve uh, verified, um, you're, you're not as on guard. I want you to be aware that Facebook, Instagram, Amazon is an environment where you still unfortunately have to put your guard up. Be smart, do some research. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. And, um, and that's how we'll stay ahead of the game. As always, I want to thank everyone for their time in this matter. And uh, I'll get back to making regular content. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, know your gear, I guess.